Welcome back to Let's Play Earthbound, and I did a little bit of leveling up. Well, that's an understatement. <laughs> yeah, 39, 36, and 35. Yeah, I got everyone up to level 35, and it didn't really take long with fast forwarding. Oh, wait, just go down here. But man, these foppies are so easy to level grind off. And with fast forwarding, it really doesn't take any time at all to do that. Alright, so we have a couple of trash cans here. IQ capsule. Nice. Broken laser. Nice. So let's give both of those to Dan. Give to Dan. And IQ capsule use on Dan. Yeah, it's important to have his IQ the highest, so give him the IQ capsules. He'll be able to fix things quicker. Like, each broken thing that you have in your inventory it requires a certain IQ to have it fixed, so... That's what you use Dan for. Alright, it's to kill. Yay. Alright. Let's fight these guys, then. Alright, so let's just go in the door here. More flies! So let's dig around the trash cans here. Vital capsule. Okay. HP sucker. That's kind of useful, I guess. Calorie stick. Not very useful. Okay, uh, you're low, you're low, low on HP, so you have a calorie stick and... You take the vital capsule. Nancy. Yay. It's always good to head to give Nancy the um, Like I was saying, it's always good to give Nancy the vitality capsules because it's important to keep her defense high. Alright, let's continue on. Let's go in this door, get some more items. It's <laughs> an empty room there. Okay. Alright, so... I'm saying the password. Aw. Alright, so let's keep going. Ah, here's the boss now. <coughs> uh, so you're Alec. I see. Gyork, gyork, gyork. There's a prophecy that a boy will destroy Master Gigas. Blah! Higgy, you make me laugh so hard. longest time, or at least for a while, it took me so long to figure out what to do with this guy, so first round, you just want to use the jar of fly honey on him. If you don't use the jar of fly honey on him, you cannot win. Um, yeah, let's heal that up. He's not going to do anything anymore anyways. So yeah, the first time I played this, I was still only like 9 or 10 years old, so I didn't know. So I just kept trying to defeat this guy without using the jar of fly honey. I didn't know. And doing that, it's impossible to beat him. Like, you can hit him as many times as you want, but I think after every turn, he restores all of his HP, so... Yeah. Just do that, and easiest boss ever. Aw, uh, no level gains. Many money statues in Foreside. Uh oh. The city will soon be in worse condition than living in your own puke. Oh, uh, subtle spanky. <coughs> oh well, at least we got rid of Master Belch there, so three should return to normal now. Now we freed the Mr. 
Saturns, yay! Burp. Looks like they picked up some bad habits from Master Belch. They might have a tough time readjusting to Mr. Saturn's society. Burp bore. That's funny because this tunnel just leads right to Saturn Valley. Yes, let's wash barf off our body. Now see, this really doesn't do anything. Yeah. See, nothing happened. <laughs> Longer ladder. Can go do hot spring. Yay! So let's sit back with a cup of coffee. Uh, yes. Bottoms up, boy. Alright, so we get a little coffee break here. So we seem to have traveled very far from home. Drinking some coffee in Saturn Valley with some weird guys on four legs. Uh, it wasn't really that long and winding. It's only episode, what, 18? Yeah, I guess that's long enough. So, like, still over four hours. Not bad. Yeah, Pokey. The worst person in your neighborhood. Well, uh, certainly making a, a name for himself on the world stage right now. He was partly responsible for Happy Happy Village. Grown steadily stronger, especially thanks to those foppies that I fought so many times. And, uh, there wasn't really much pain in fighting them, because they're so easy. I was even homesick the whole time, and didn't really make a difference. Except I probably could have gotten more insta-victories. But I wasn't homesick, oh well. Yeah, Nancy is here. Who's, who's talking? Who's the narrator here? Who's saying that Nancy's pretty? Is that you, Alec? Maybe it's your thoughts, I don't know. And we also have Dan, who escaped from Boys Town up in Winters to come visit us. I don't know, if I was Dan, I would, I mean, getting that call from Nancy, I would, you know, take the first jet out of there. Who wants to stay in a wintry place all the time, you know? I hate the cold. It'd be, it'd be horrible. Usually good wins in fiction, like movies, video games, but in real life, evil always wins. Sorry, goodness, but it's just a fictional virtue, I guess. Courage, huh? I'm very courageous. I've had the courage to, you know, fast forward and level up a whole bunch. Yay! And enjoy yourself. Well, I will be enjoying myself because that means I probably won't have to be level grinding here and there for the rest of the game pretty much. Except for one spate, one spot where we have the cousins of the Foppies. Once at that place I leveled everyone up to level 99 and it really didn't take that long either. But I probably won't do that this time. <laughs> that was way overkill. What about the other guy? I thought there were four people. You know, the guy who's named Pooh. But I think I think his name is Kato in this one. His secondary name is Kato. Because uh yeah, his name can't be Pooh, that's our favorite food. So that was a nice little coffee break. Gotta sit back, kick back, and relax. Anyway, let's keep going through this cave until we get interrupted by Mr. Cameraman. No, oh, no taking my picture. What are you, Japanese? You have to take pictures at every single place. Well, this game is Japanese, so... Oh, Milky Way. What this ding ding? You better not be homesick again. Okay, good. You know what? Screw that. I'm gonna come here later. <laughs> you don't have to do this now. I'm pretty sure. I wanna do that later. Yeah. Uh, yeah, because I wanna see what happens. 
things. Anything else we need to do here? I think we got a present. Actually, I think Alec can fend for himself. Something that good. I should give it to uh, Dan for now. Uh, crap. Uh, no. Dan. Okay. Uh, what? What don't we need? Uh, what's the stag beetle? Sorry, Mr. Saturn. Okay, let's uh, give that to you, Dan. And equip. Yeah! 84 defense, that's pretty sweet. And let's use the for sale sign. I seriously doubt a customer is heading all this way. Okay, I guess not. Maybe I have to be outside. Hello? Let's try that again. For sale sign, please. Oh, okay. Uh, maybe I just have to get to the other side. Aha, cockroaches are running away. They were doing that because my level's high. Okay. <laughs> I guess not all of them will run away, but... Yeah, I had to come back because I got homesick. And a few of them were running away, but I guess that one wasn't. Okay, customer, man. Uh-oh, two crocodiles. Sell my hard hat, please. Here we go. Finally. I'm Plum Tucker. Sell the hard hat. Yeah. Oh, I have a ton of money in the bank from <laughs> from those foppies. I think like forty-five thousand dollars. Awesome. Magic butterfly! Yay! Back to Threege really quickly. Hopefully, we don't have too many battles in this cave here. No battles. Yes, Magic Butterfly. Yay, Magic Butterfly! Made me relax because I'm too tense. Oh no. Sweet, no battles, I think. Maybe there's one more room. Alright, no battles. Nice. Yay, let's get out of here. Well, I guess because the zombies are gone, there wouldn't be any battles here. Alright, whatever. And it looks like Threed's brightened up a little, so next time on Let's Play Earthbound, we will... I don't know, I guess explore the new 3 a little bit. So, see you next time. <laughs>